Students were part of the annual reeds laying ceremony at the Hector Peterson Memorial in Soweto on Thursday in commemoration of the young people who died in 1976 while protesting against the apartheid education policies. The ceremony was led by Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa. It is estimated that no less than 600 students and youth were brutally killed during those uprisings and scores were injured, imprisoned and tortured. As government, uh, we are determined to ensure that we do our part. As parents, we are determined, as adults, as citizens, we are determined to ensure that we contribute to giving young people hope. And the hour of youth has struck again, 40 years later, but youth must be find, finding themselves doing constructive things that move our country forward, that move our communities forward, and they must get out of all the other things that destroy young people's lives. Peterson, age 13, was one of the first students to be killed during the uprising. He has since become a symbol of youth resistance to apartheid. The image of his limp body being carried by another teenager was seen around the world and international efforts to end South Africa's racial segregation through apartheid would linger for nearly two more decades. 40 years to us brings a new generation. It says these are young people, young South Africans who fought for equal opportunity, who wanted to make sure that we build a, a diverse South Africa. They recognized that the system locked them out. The significance today says we begin a new journey where we must build a system that includes more young people. We can't be sitting in a South Africa where young people are locked out in provinces because of the capture of unions, where in fact uh, many, yeah, many young people still suffer from Bantu education. These were, this was a generation of leaders who I draw inspiration from, that we must break down systems that locked out uh, young people. Therefore today we are here standing and saying, we mustn't pay lip service to such a day as this one. We must charter a new path for South Africans, an inclusive South Africa and a South Africa for all. Government released a statement saying that the class of 1976 played a key role in the, in the country's struggle and the youth of today should preserve their legacy. Bureau reports, ANN7.